Dear viewers, today I would like to explain biological significance of cholesterol. If you want to view these next videos in the future also, please do subscribe my channel. Now, what is the cholesterol? It is an essential lipid constituent of the cell membrane, a precursor of the various steroid hormones, bile, bile acids, high plasma cholesterol promote atherosclerosis. Steroid nucleus of the cholesterol cannot be degraded to carbon dioxide and water. Cholesterol 50% is converted to bile acids that serve as a precursor for the synthesis of steroid hormone and vitamin D. Synthesis of bile acids. Bile acid possess 24 carbon atoms, 2 or 3 hydroxyl group in the steroid nucleus and a side chain and ending in the carboxylic group. Bile acids are amphipathic in nature. It serves it serves as emulsifying agent in the intestine and actively participate in the di digestion and absorption of lipids. Since it's a primary bile acid take place in the liver, catalyzed by 7 alpha hydroxylase, is inhibited by the bile acid. Cholic acid and kinodeoxycholic acid are the primary bile acids. Conjugated bile acids such as glycocholic acid Torocholic acid etc. are formed. Conjugated bile acid exists as sodium and potassium salt, which are known as bile salts. This is the outline of bile synthesis. It, it starts from the cholesterol by using NADPH and under the influence of 7 alpha hydroxylase enzyme, it gets converted into 7 hydroxy cholesterol. And under the influence of several steps, several hydroxy cholesterol is converted into cholic acid. Cholic acid using glycine it converts into glycocholic acid and using taurine it converts into turocholic acid. And under the intestinal bacteria action, it is converted into deoxycholic acid. These are the bile acids. And the same 7 hydroxy cholesterol under the influence of uh, under the various several steps it converted into kinodeoxycholic acid kinodeoxycholic acid with the help of taurine and glycine it converted into toro glyco toro or glyco kinodeoxycholic acid and under the intestinal bacteria it changes into lithocholic acid the, uh, the steric sign shown the secondary bile acid and the double steric sign is the secondary and the single steric sign is the primary bile acid. In intestine, a portion of primary bile acid undergo deconjugation and dehydroxylation to form secondary bile acid, deoxycholic and lithocholic acid. Reactions are catalyzed by bacterial enzymes in the intestine. Next, in interior hepatic circulation. Conjugated bile acids or salts synthesized in the liver accumulate in the gallbladder. It's secreted in the small intestine where they serve as emulsifying agent for the digestion and absorption of fats. Large portion of bile salts are reabsorbed and returned to the liver through a portal vein. Bile salts are recycled and reused several times in a day. This is known as enterohepatic circulation. About 15 to 30 gram of bile salts are secreted into intestine each day and reabsorbed. Excretion of bile salts is the only route for the removal of cholesterol from the body. Next is cholithesis. Cholesterol crystal parties precipitate in the gallbladder. This is known as cholithesis. Cholesterol gallstone, gallstone disease due to defective absorption of bile salts from the intestine, impairment in the liver function, obstruction of biliary tract, etc. It's administration of bile acid, kinodeoxycholic acid, commonly known as kinodiol. Dissolution of gallstone occurs due to kinodiol for several severe cases of 
polylithesis surgical removal of call bladder is the only remedy next is the synthesis of steroid hormone from cholesterol cholesterol is a precursor for the synthesis of all the five classes of steroid hormones such as glucocorticoid min mineralocorticoid progesterone androgen estrogen right these are the general outline of the steroid hormone synthesis when cholesterol is converted into pre pregnenone pregnenone is converted into progesterone pre progesterone further converted into corticone cortisone aldosterone and estradiol next is the synthesis of vitamin d 7d d hydro cholesterol and intermediate in the synthesis of cholesterol it is converted to cholecalciferol that is vitamin d3 by ultraviolet rays in the skin in this way vitamin d is formed from the cholesterol these are the summary of the major sources of liver cholesterol and its utilization cholesterol is we have to take the cholesterol from the dietary source cholesterol is synthesized in the liver and cholesterol is formed from the extra hepatic tissues as we already discussed and these are their major route of utilization uh, cholesterol is utilized in form of lip lipoprotein bile salts and bile acids cholesterol lost in the bile these are all about their utilization thank you so much for watching this video if you like to watch this these type of videos in the future also please do subscribe my channel thank you